right, thank you so much, Andy. Well, I know Andy was looking for a pool, but I found a bet something better, a bar. And Nathan <laughs> from Foxcapes joins me now. Nathan, the Home and Garden Show is finally here. How does it feel? Feels great. We uh, spent the last three days setting up for the home show. It's been some long nights and some early mornings, but uh, we're here and we're excited to show everybody what we can do and uh, give them uh, a little hope for spring. That's right, exactly. And that's what I really love is the, the, the businesses that put their heart, their blood, sweat, and tears yep. into their displays. When you come in, you can't miss the tall trees and the sounds of the waterfalls and all of that. Uh, talk a little bit about what you guys are able to do at, at Foxscapes uh, and your business. Yeah, so we're Foxscapes. We're a design build company out of Diamonddale. We install the outdoor living spaces and we do also maintenance. Mm -hmm. And I also own a tree farm. So we are able to offer our customers uh, large shade and evergreens as mm -hmm. well as uh, snow and ice management. So we're kind of full service for your property and we can provide pretty much uh, anything in your outdoor living space. Which is nice. And I think people sometimes overlook trees, which are hard because they're right in our faces. Yeah. What are some of the things when it comes to trees that we should keep in mind uh, when we are looking to kind of, you know, actually plant a tree in our in our yard? What are those things that we should keep? Yeah, so we do consults on our tree farm. Uh, you get to pick out each tree individually uh, for your property. We always like to talk to people about their space and how much room they have, what they're looking to do with the tree. Do they want shade? Do they want an evergreen? Do they want something that's got a nice smell? Um, we got a lot of different varieties, um, a lot of different sizes, and we want something that fits your outdoor living space. So we bring you out, we show you what we have, and uh, we educate you on what what the tree is and what it can do for your property. Gotcha. And then in terms of landscaping, is there any kind of trends that you guys are seeing this year? I mean, right now we're looking and we can hear the water and the river uh, and we see the flowers, but anything. And then, of course, of course, the bar <laughs> behind us, which uh, is, is very, very cool. There's lights and all of that. Yep. But talk a little bit about what you're seeing in 2024 that we should add to our backyard. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of natural stone and a lot of uh, just natural outdoor living. Um, there is a modern trend of the black and whites, but a lot of people in the Lansing area have been loving the natural outdoor living spaces with natural stone, uh, having ponds and water features, as well as outdoor kitchens uh, to enjoy the summer. Um, the outdoor uh, water features have been great. It's like uh, having a pool, but you don't have all the maintenance, so. Right. <laughs> yeah. You can still kind of get that ambiance. So when folks are walking around here, which we are seeing right now, it's so much fun. We yep. get to wave to folks right here uh, and everyone's saying hi. And we encourage if you're at home to come down down today or, of course, all weekend long. But when people are walking around and they are seeing, you know, this setup or other setups, uh, how can they start a conversation uh, when they want to make a change like this into their backyard? Yeah, uh, we have a team here that's willing to talk to anybody, you know, talk about their outdoor living space, talk about their trees, anything that you can think of that is outside your home. We would love to talk to you, uh, hear your story, hear about your property, your goals, and uh, just try to make something that works for you. If, if less than anything, you know, we can at least educate you and uh, try to tell you what direction to go in. So Right. Sometimes that's the hardest part is like, where do I even begin? Yeah. But yep. thank you so much, Nathan, for letting us stop by and yep. kind of be in this space. You really can't miss it when you come here. But if you do, come and say hi. We'll be here, of course, for the rest of the hour. And coming up after the oh, later in the hour, we'll be talking about interior design. So you definitely want to stick around for that. But for now, I'll send it back into the studio.